Hello, welcome to the Renaissance English History Podcast's Tudor Minute, your mostly daily dose for all things related to medieval and Renaissance England. So I've said before that one of my favorite ways to look at history is through the music of the time period. So all this week I'm hosting Tudor Minutes about medieval and Renaissance English music. Today I'm going to talk about Orlando Gibbons. Gibbons was born and christened in Oxford. His father, William, at the time was working as a wait, which was like a town piper. So music was in their blood. He attended and sang in the King's College, in the Choir of King's College, Cambridge. Um, sometime around 1598, he was there. His brother, Edward, his older brother, was the master of choristers at the time. And he also had a second brother, Ellis, who was a promising composer, but he died young. Orlando entered the university around 1598, and he got his Bachelor of Music in 1606. And James I appointed him a gentleman of the Chapel Royal, where he served as organist from around 1615 until his death. He also, in 1623, became a senior organist at the Chapel Royal with Thomas Tompkins as his junior organist. And he also held positions as the keyboard player in the Privy Council, or in the Privy Chamber of the Court of Prince Charles, who was later King Charles I, and he was the or an organist at Westminster Abbey. He died at age 41 in Canterbury of apoplexy, and a monument to him is built, was built at Canterbury Cathedral. He was one of the most versatile English composers of the time. He wrote a large number of keyboard works. His keyboard works were actually championed um, and rediscovered and championed in the 20th century by Glenn Gould, a very famous pianist. Um, he also wrote a number of madrigals. The best known one is The Silver Swan and many popular verse anthems. His most well-known verse anthems anthem is This is a Record of John, which sets an Advent text for solo countertenor, alternating with a full chorus. And he also produced two major settings of even song services, the short service and the second service, an extended composition combining verse and full sections. And his full anthems include the expressive O Lord in Thy Wrath and the Ascension Day anthem O Clap Your Hands Together for eight voices. And he also contributed six pieces to the first printed collection of keyboard music in England. Um, he was the youngest of three contributors at the time and that was published around 1611. And his surviving keyboard output comprises about 45 different pieces. Uh, the best represented is the polyphonic fantasia and dance forms. So he was incredibly versatile. Um, I have a Spotify playlist that has music of the English Renaissance and music of Orlando Gibbons. And I will add a link to that in the comments below so you can check it out and listen. And if you want to learn more about the Renaissance English History Podcast, you can subscribe on iTunes or Stitcher or your podcast listening service of choice. Um, and you can also go to englandcast.com. That's http colon slash slash E-N-G-L-A-N-D-C-A-S-T dot com, englandcast dot com or facebook dot com slash englandcast. Thanks so much. Have a great day.